Hey Barb, doesn't it remind you of Mackinac Island? Hey everyone, good to see you guys again. We're about ready to be invaded. By a dog. By a dog. By Marley. <laughs> so we got a couple of things we're gonna go over. What we have done here since we've been off the road. And go over getting ready to get back on the road because this is it. This is the, the final countdown to hitting the road again. Yeah. So we've had some just a few things to finish up before we get going. Yep. Um, for starters, I guess we knew we had to get the compressor and we got the compressor in and that on. And in the middle of the compressor, I noticed I had another leak, but I knew I had that leak since 2017. And it was a very small, small, small leak. That was on the solenoid? That was on the solenoid for the turbo actuator. And um, that became a headache. <laughs> that really became a headache. Ordered it on uh, May 5th. I think so. Yeah, May 5th. Cinco de Mayo, I ordered it. Or that's when I got it. I ordered it before, and I got it on um, May 5th. And it only came with some parts. And I'd, I've never understood that. So if y'all work into parts, if, if somebody orders a part, make sure they're getting all their parts. Yes. <laughs> yes, please. Make sure we get all of our parts. I mean, you don't go out and buy a cow, a milking cow, and not get the milking part and have to order that separate. No, it comes with it. So if you guys work in parts, please. So this little solenoid. $320. Mm -hmm. And... We get it, and he puts it on the truck, and the air just blows right past it. Well, it turns out there's a whole separate gasket set that's supposed to go with it. Three O-rings. $26 for that. For a 25 cent O-ring. But, you'd think they would have included them with the part. And then, trying to get just the gasket set was about a three week headache. It was a three week headache. Wait. We're starting to really wonder about Peterbilt. Yes. <laughs> but we did finally get them. So Grace is ready to go now. Ready to go. And then the final thing was we put a new inverter in the truck. Because if you watched our solar install in San Diego, we might have mentioned that we blew the old one. Some Somebody might have hooked the whole house up to it and fried it. <laughs> so... And it's nice to have that inverter because it runs our fridge and coffee pot and whatever going down the road. So, new inverter in the truck. New inverter in the truck, which is great. And then... Oh, the... don't forget, I got a new stereo in there too. Oh, he did get a new stereo. <laughs> yep. So, Grace is ready to go. Hopefully. Um, and then the trailer, we... If you saw us leaving the sugar beet harvest the year before last, and it was the road trip from you know where, and that was where we blew two trailer tires within about a 10 mile period. Yeah. And we were gonna get good trailer tires then, but because of circumstances, we ended up having to just go to the nearest town, get what we could get. What we got were truck tires. And pick up, pick up tires. Pick up truck tires. Yeah. And I was gonna be happy if we got a year out of them. Well, it's been about a year and a half. Yep. And they were due to be changed. So we went and got the Hercules 14 ply monster trailer tires and we'll see how these work yeah so what's going on here with no tires on the trailer we robbed this guy of his trailer tires we needed them <laughs> no we're gonna go get some new tires we are gonna go with a little 14 ply the ones we got on now i think are 10 yeah yeah we're gonna go with uh hercules 14 ply so, and this is just taking the tires off and I've only been at it for 20 minutes. It's, it's humid. It's supposed to be 82, but the humidity is like 98% right now. It rained again last night. Yep. So it's a 
humid day. Humid. <laughs> so this is one of our last big projects before we get back on the road. Yeah, on the third. Third mm -hmm. of June. We should be getting out of here. No, we shouldn't. We, we will. will be. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, Ma. <laughs> we just got a place to go. Right. But for now, we're off to town. Yep. 18 miles. Labor. All right, mission accomplished. We made it back from town with new tires. Check these out. Think anybody's seen a tire before? Hmm? Gotta look at our tires. Yep. Nice tread, 14 ply. Ooh, we can play basketball. They seem uh, beefier than the other ones. Oh yeah. This is a professional. Do not attempt. <laughs> so we're hoping that they work out well. They're a lot beefier than what we've had on it in the past. So trailer has new shoes. It's ready to go. Truck has a new airbag <laughs> <laughs> and then i did a couple of projects inside um our our bedding we had the original comforter that came with the trailer that we had used for now it's been four years yeah. and it was just worn and so i tossed that and ordered a new comforter and duvet cover and everything just some new stuff to brighten up the bed the bedroom which was nice and then our dining room for us, a dining room in an RV is worthless. Pretty much worthless. We it's just a stack all. And they don't typically make the tables really big enough to eat at comfortably anyways. So a while back, he had taken and turned the table sideways in that slide so that even when the slide was in, we could get past going around the kitchen island. I mean, you had that much room, but as age goes, you know, your body goes and that <laughs> space turned into that space <laughs> so you really had to suck it up when you went through there so turn the table around and it gave us that much it's enough <laughs> let's just put it that way that's enough <laughs> made it a lot easier yeah but still i was only using it as a desk and it was accumulating stuff underneath and all our office supplies were still stashed in another cupboard somewhere so i went ahead and ordered a proper desk and a little chest of drawers we took the table out and replaced it with those and it's worked out great and the space is way more useful now yeah it is a lot more useful and we'll show you how he rigged it to keep everything shut and in place while we're going down the road because that's important that is important we don't want our stuff scattered everywhere when we show up where we're going right okay i guess i'm supposed to explain to you guys common sense how I made this work I just made it work the chairs sat these chairs right here used to sit like this and you took these straps right here and you locked it in right there and there's another clip in the back and I just went like this take it down through there strap it on that bring the other one forward Lock it in there and zip it down. And that'll keep the drawer shut. This thing will stay no matter what. But that's all I did. And then beyond that, you know, we've been sitting for a while. So getting back on the road, it's back to route planning. Looking ahead at places we're going to stay. We had kind of a nice mental break from that for a while. We have. We're getting a little itchy though and ready to go again. Mm -hmm. So it's been nice. It's been really nice to just take a break for a while. Um, I know a lot of you that are full-time will go someplace and stay for a whole summer. And then when the weather changes, go somewhere and stay for the whole winter. And so you're in a place for a kind of a long period of time. For us, when we hit the road full-time, other than work camping jobs, we're constantly on the move. And you find that rhythm that you fall into that's comfortable for you where 
you feel like you've stayed long enough, you feel like you haven't stayed too long, you, know, you just kind of get into that, that rhythm. But I'll say it's been nice to be here for a while. It's been three months. Yeah, three months. And it has been nice to just kind of have a minute to take a deep breath and relax and not have to worry about what's going to go wrong on the rig. What kind of trip planning do we need? Are we going to find a place to sleep tonight? All of that stuff. And it still could happen. But something still could go wrong right. somewhere down the road. But and it was nice to take that moment. We're not complaining one bit either. Don't get us wrong. Uh -huh. We love what we're doing. Yep. But it has been nice to stop for just a little bit. Yeah, it has. But when we get going again, there are things here we're going to miss. Yeah, we're going to miss. Um, I like to tinker. I'm a tinkerer. And I'm going to miss tinkering around. Um, He's had a garage to play in for three months. Yes. Yeah, I never noticed how much I missed a garage. <laughs> <laughs> Marble counters in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> Had some spare marble laying around and it's been up on the shelf. So I cleaned off the uh, the table and rearranged the marble on the shelf. And who else has marble on their workbench? Right. Huh? I'm pretty uppity uppy, you know. I drive a Mercedes Benz. It might be a small one. <laughs> I got marble on it's, my workbench. It's a Mercedes Benz roller skate. <laughs> Classy roller skate, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. For those of you that don't know, Smart is manufactured by Mercedes Benz. <laughs> We're talking about the little car. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and mowing. You like mowing. I do. I like getting on a lawnmower and, you know, I think of Jenny a lot while I'm mowing. And I don't get paid for any of this, so I just mow the yard for free. I cut that grass for free. Forest gum. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, yeah, I like to, uh, I like to keep the place up. Mom has done a very good job for the last 23 years keeping it up, and um, time's been good to her, but, you know, she's, she needs somebody else to help out, and I'm trying to keep it to her standards. And Love you, Mom. <laughs> mom. <laughs> and of course, speaking of Mom, we're going to miss her too when we hit the road. We've yep. really enjoyed this time we've had to spend with her. Yep, yep. It's, it's, yeah. And I'm going to miss our walks. Um, I take Lulu and a lot of times Marley goes too. We, we walk every day. Sometimes I'll go out and take a four mile walk and then I'll come back and get the dogs and go and take them for a couple miles. And it's just, it's, it's beautiful. I never get tired of the scenery around here and it's peaceful and quiet and that's been nice. And then sitting out at night and watching Lulu and Marley play in the yard has been enjoyable. I'm gonna miss Chog. So, Chog, go ahead. I'm gonna miss Chog. <laughs> Chog is the chicken that thinks it's a dog. Yeah. <laughs> Hence Chog. Yeah. She gets right up in everybody's face. Won't leave us alone. And uh, she follows me everywhere. I go do something, she's right on my donkey. Seeing what she can get into. I can't mow unless she's right up underneath the mower. I can't weed eat. She's right between my legs. <laughs> Even setting the burn pile on fire the other day. Yes. He said we almost had barbecued chicken. <laughs> Chog was right there. I'm like, dude, you got to get out of the way or you're going to catch on fire. <laughs> Feathers go up fast. <laughs> so I had to punt her out of the way. Not literally, but just kind of shove her out of the way with my foot. She's down here right now with us. <laughs> Cruising she, back and forth. It is. It's like having a little feathered dog. Yeah. So, and then, really, there's only one thing I can think of that we're not going to miss. And if you guys can't guess that. We'll give you three hint, three guesses. Cock-a-doodle-doo. Yeah, that, pardon the expression, damn rooster. 
Oh, good night. I've been trying so hard to get some footage to show you guys, but he can't mow the yard without that rooster chasing the mower and coming at it and flapping his wings. No. He chases him around. Yeah. It's, I mean, I don't know what he thinks he's going to do with that lawnmower, but I don't know. Rooster soup someday. Rooster soup. <laughs> so that brings us to our plans. Where are we headed from here? West. Go west, I said. Yeah. Actually, first we're going to go north, kind of, and then kind west. Of north, yeah. So we're headed towards Hutchinson, Kansas first. And then from there, we'll probably go up through Nebraska. And then across Nebraska through Wyoming out to Utah. And then up into Idaho. And we are headed for the West Coast HDT Rally. The third week of June. Third week of June, I think. Yeah. So we're excited about that. We are looking forward to seeing everybody again. And a lot of new faces there this year. We understand this is by far the biggest West Coast Rally they've had to date. So that'll be fun. Yep. It'll be Excellent. And then from there, we're going to head off to northern Idaho and meet up with some friends and RV across um, from Idaho through Montana, uh, eventually over to the Black Hills of South Dakota. My family has a big family vacation going in the Black Hills in July. So we're They do every year. They have a get together every year, except for Last the great... COVID year. Yeah, no vacation last year got postponed, but but other than that, um, yeah, they do every year, and it's been in different places. It's been in Hawaii, it's been in Lake Tahoe, it's been in uh, Pagosa Springs, Colorado, it's been in Big Bear, cruise. California, it's been on a cruise, so my family puts together a different vacation every year, and this year it's South Dakota, yep. which will be fun. It's beautiful up there. Yep. And then from there, we're going to just kind of take the rest of the summer and somehow or other just meander back this way. And we'll be back here in the fall for a little while. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. We do have a lot of, I can't say a lot of questions, but some people have asked what I have done. It's, it's nothing. Um, it flares up if I slave too hard, which I've been slaving real hard. No. I think in 2015, I jacked my wrist up and it's never gotten better so that's all this is is just it helps um one thing we'd like to do is thank each and every one of you for watching we appreciate it so very much the comments um it's, it's excellent we appreciate each and every one of you guys watching and just hanging out with our life you know yeah. well mine <laughs> um, loopy sometimes but that's okay <laughs> oh yes yeah absolutely and absolutely what i'm loopy well that too though yeah. that we thank them <laughs> uh. and we just want to take a minute and we got some news one of our viewers who we had had the pleasure of meeting a little over a year ago passed away so if y'all are the praying type keep his family in your prayers that was very kind of hit us yeah hit us hard we we do know who you are <laughs> when you when you comment and um, we remember you from, mm. from time you know from one time to the next and we're not that big yet we feel like we get to really know some of you and so so that news kind of hit us hard so keep him in your thoughts and prayers his family yep so we have some really exciting news too. Not only are we going to the West Coast Rally again, but this year we are officially registered for the National HDT Rally in Hutchinson, Kansas in October. Yep. And this will be our first year going to the National Rally, so we're pretty excited about it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> He's as excited as he ever gets about yep. anything. Woo -woo. <laughs> I'm, I am, I don't get too excited. But yeah, that's, we're looking forward to that. It's going to be a lot of fun, I think. Yeah, I think it will be too. I do. I really, really do. If it's anything like the uh, West Coast, it'll be fun. Yeah. It'll be fun. So hopefully we'll see a whole bunch of you there. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, that would be. 
So with that, again, thank you very much for sitting down and taking your time yes. and giving it to us. Appreciate each and every one of you guys, and may God be with us all. And that's all we got to say. Mm -hmm. Until next week, when we see you from somewhere out there in the Midwest. Bye.